Carmen San Diego. On the last episode of VidAMs, I had to watch Darkstalkers. The worst show I've had to watch thus far. So let's turn things around this week by watching what might be the best TV show based on a series of games. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Okay, so, a good show, a very good show in fact, but not actually the one I meant. Okay, also a great show, uh, currently available on Netflix, but I didn't mean that one either. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? Stop her crime and solve this mystery. Tell okay, that time you got really close, like... That's actually the sequel series to what I'm going to be watching today. The early 90s quiz show, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger fucks up from Berlin down from Belize. Let's backpedal just a little bit. In the mid to late 80s, a series of critically acclaimed edutainment games were released by Broderbund. The first, and best known, being Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. In this game, you played as an agent working for Acme. No, not that one. Your job was to find and capture Carmen Sandiego, master thief and head of the Villains International League of Evil. You would do so by globe hopping and questioning people in major cities around the world doing basic detective work, but incidentally learning all about geography as you went. I am terrible at geography. Everything outside of Europe is a blur to me, so I would have benefited greatly from playing this. If not for a certain blue hedgehog, Carmen Sandiego would be the video game character with the most TV adaptations under her belt, with four beloved shows to date. And the live-action quiz show we're watching today might be the best adaptation of a video game I have ever seen. The premise remains exactly the same. A trio of young contestants are brought in as Acme agents and are pitted against each other in order to stop a member of Vile from stealing a famous landmark. Even better, the Acme chief from the games, played by Lynn Thigpen, reprises her role for this show. The charming tone of the game is perfectly recreated, the show is universally loved and critically acclaimed, running for 5 seasons and 295 episodes, I would give the show a 10 out of 10 because it's basically perfect, but I'm not here today to gauge the quality of this show. Like I said before, I'm bad at geography, and being a professional quiz master, unable to do his job during a global pandemic, I am itching to engage in some form of trivia. Therefore, I challenge you, the people watching, to see if you can beat me. No Googling, no series, no Alexas, just you and me. If you manage to beat me, like this video. And if you lose, dislike it. Just tell me where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. Oh, and yes, I am having my cake and eating it here, because now I can dismiss the minority of people who genuinely take umbrage with my videos as losers who are bad at geography. Not going with the normal format today, obviously, so let's use a random number generator to grab a random episode. Season 3, Episode 24. Now museum, now you don't. And this is Wonder Rat, Carmen's rabble-rousing rodent. Wonder Rat! His last known whereabouts? La Ciudad de Mexico. On a quiet corner in the Coyoacan section of Mexico City stands a bright blue house, the home where Frida Kahlo was born. Some critics call her one of this century's greatest painters. The house is now the Frida Kahlo Museum. Wonder Rat crept into Coyoacan and hatched an evil plan. With the help of a cheesy beast of burden, he hitched up the museum and hauled it off. Alright. Pretty standard crime right there. Pretty sure we can get the best of this. 
Here's today's case. <laughs> now, museum, now you don't. <laughs> And to help you out with this, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And uh, you guys know how this game is played, so we'll get started. But I mean, I don't, but let's find out. I've got 50 Crime Bucks. Let me take note of that. Let me see this TV. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm... Oh, here. Hi, hi there. This is Joey Joey here for Acme Home Spending Net. Welcome to Joey Joey's Bizarre Adventure, starring me, Joey Joey. I was a schlub, just like you. So I go to my very successful friend, Johnny Johnson, and I say, hey. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Toys R Us ghost of the same name. I didn't really hear him, and he says, Coral. And then he shows me this chart, see right over here. Capital, a police. Rebuilt 50 miles inland in 1967 after a hurricane did big damage to the old capital. And like it's a brand new capital and only 4,000 and a half people live there, practically all of them elected officials and their employees. Okay, I get it. These little comedy bits are hints for the upcoming question. Okay, I probably shouldn't be riffing over them. And I listen to them sublimely at night. And folks, shaboom! Is it Belmopan? Belmopan, I guess it is. Belize City or San Pedro Sula? Remember It'll be Belize here. City, surely. Belize, 50 miles inland, and population of just 4,500. Light out, what do you think? Greg, I chose Balmopian. Oh, God, I'm a dumbass, aren't I? I'm an idiot. No? Okay, girls on my side. I chose Belize City. Yeah, two out of three are bad. No! I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! And as you know, we give you uh, 10 crime bucks every time you're correct. So, Lydell, you go up to 60. Julian, Khalil, you steal 50 crime bucks. Wonder Rat is in an island nation west of Senegal. For several generations, the islands have been home to more women than men. Here's why. There's not much industry. So traditionally, women stay and raise the children while the men ship out to find jobs in other places like Portugal and the USA. How fitting that the man in the fedora is yelling at me about traditional gender roles. Name the islands, if you will, please. Is it Azores, Canary, or Cape Verde Islands? Remember I'm just taking these, uh, shots in the fucking West dark. Senegal, uh, Canary Northern Islands, Northern why not? Live there. Again, Lydell, what do you think? I chose Cape Verde Islands. Cape Verde Islands. Julie? I chose Azores. Uh, Azores. Khalil? I chose Canary Islands. Canary oh, Islands. gosh, three for three. It could be any. No! <laughs> I have no crime books! I need to marathon this whole goddamn show to actually learn anything about geography. For our next clue, we These children are the destroying me. What happened to you? Come here, what happened? Wonder Rat ran me over. Then he dragged me to a small country in Western Europe. The West. But where? A country has three official languages. French, German, and Luxembourgish. Belgium! I think that's Belgium! I'm sure that's Belgium! It's gotta be Belgium. Then I chased him through the famous Vilroy and Box Ceramics Company. It's been around since 1767. We broke stuff. Wanna try? Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. Thanks. Scott, I was just noticing. You look a little run down. Well, you know, Greg, I'm feeling kind of tired. <laughs> I'm in need of severe medical help right now. Please call an ambulance. The dying informant. <laughs> Give it up for the dying informant. <laughs> this show's great. This is very charming. I told, I told you it's going to be stupid. It's stupid. Anyway, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Austria, Luxembourg? It's Luxembourg. It's Luxembourg. Sorry, not Belgium, Luxembourg. It's Luxembourg. And this is one I actually know. I'm so happy to have actually gotten one legit right. They had to bring it all the way to Europe for it to happen. But sure, why not? Craig, I chose Luxembourg. Luxembourg. What do you think, Julie? I chose Luxembourg. Oh, cool. I got the easy one that all the kids got right Everybody as well. Luxembourg. Everybody <laughs> God damn it. Job, <laughs> God damn it all. I mean, I got 60 crime bucks. That puts me on par with the other, with two of the three kids. We turn two. Okay, you guys know what that is. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Wonder Rat's most recent known whereabouts, which is Luxembourg. Uh, five crime bucks for every correct answer. Hands in the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Luxembourg is called a Grand Duchy because it's ruled by a Duke or a Duchess, a Deluxe or a Deluxus, or a King or a Queen. Duke and a Duchess. Uh, Khalil. A Duke or a Duchess. Is right. Nice job. Khalil, five for you. <laughs> Question two. 
One of France's greatest authors lived and wrote for a time in, Luxem in the Luxembourg town of Vianden. Uh, was this uh, resident Walt Whitman, Dr. Seuss, or Victor Hugo? Oh, Dr. Seuss? I don't know. Victor Hugo? Is right. Nice. Oh, right God damn it. What? Dr. Seuss, shut up, David, you Last idiot. Question. Luxembourg's currency is directly linked with another European nation's currency. Is it Portugal, Switzerland, or Belgium? Can I technically just say all with the euro? Nice job, you guys. That's technically correct nowadays. I'm not giving myself points for that. Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. And when you collected four loots and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to at me crime net PO box 4300. Okay, we don't have to do this, guys. We don't have to do this part. Um, it's cool that the show had interactivity, though. That's pretty neat. You can actually send stuff into it and potentially win prizes. I, I love that shit in kids' game shows when I was little, even if I never won any of them. Congratulations to the winners. I'm throwing a big bash for my new museum. You're going to be bashing rocks on a chain gang if you don't scoot. Take the museum to the Southeast Asian country that used to be called the Kingdom of Lan Zhang. That means Kingdom of the Million Elephants. Oh, All right, let's go to Asia. I definitely know my Asian countries. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Laos, Vietnam, or Myanmar? Remember the clues that we heard. Southeastern country bordering five countries, once the kingdom of... We should, can I see the map again? Laos! Lydell, what do you think? Craig, I chose Laos. Laos, what do you think, Julie? I chose Laos. Laos, Khalil? I chose Myanmar. Myanmar, the answer we're looking for is Laos. All right, oh, just about, yes. I knew it wasn't Vietnam because that was coastal, so there couldn't be possibly be five countries around that. Oh my god, there's like a skip for every question. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I think it's legitimately very cool how much love goes into this show, but... Yeah, wow, holy damn. I didn't realize there'd be such a high uh, skit to question ratio. This is giving me hints and I'm talking over it like an idiot. For a thousand years. But then there was a gold rush, gold rush. Folks like they're in the thousands. Now the people ride sailboats above native homes and mines. Okay, guys, name the site, if you will, please. Is it Wolf Creek, Oregon? Grouse Creek, Utah, or Whiskey Town, California. The clues that we heard, a gold rush state, huge dam near Sacramento River. Oh, we were talking about America this whole time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say Whiskey Town, because that's a cool ass sounding place. Whiskey Town, California, Julie. I chose Whiskey Town, California. Whiskey Town, Khalil. I chose Whiskey Town, California. Everybody said Whiskey Town, everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Yeah. Take that, Wonder Rat. Shout out to any viewers who may be in Whiskey Town. The coolest place ever. Left Whiskey Town, so let's pick up the chase. The chase. All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands in your buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Wonder Rat scampered to the city of Reno. What state is he in, Julie? Nevada. Oh God, American states. Around and ran to the capital of Idaho. Name the city, Lydell. Boise. Boise is right. Wonder Rat raced from Boise across Idaho. Lydell? Montana? Oregon. Oregon's right. <laughs> Next, he whisked the museum to Washington's. Julie? From Seattle. Is right. Wonder oh, Rat got the plane from Seattle to Billings, Montana. Lydell? Um. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of the space <laughs> round. Oh, Lydell God! Oh, I'm getting decimated. Have nice mercy, job, children! Guys. Have mercy on me! I'm bad at geography! That was fantastic, you guys. Very good. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Wonder Rat is headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. All so, right. Look at the map. You know, if this is like a round where you have to gamble your score, I'm just going to go all in. Why not? Who, Gregola? I just saw that rat. We're in southern Wisconsin. The city's name comes from an Algonquin word meaning gathering place by the rivers. Three rivers to be exact. With a great lake on the side. Oh, it's Milwaukee! I know I know that solely because of Red Letter Media. This is Milwaukee. Fest, the Bavarian Folk Fest. This place is a regular fest fest.
Green Bay, Grand Rapids, or Milwaukee? Remember the clues that we heard? Southern Wisconsin City, located on three rivers and a great lake. Greg, I said Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is not the answer we're looking for, Khalil. Sorry about that. You're going to go down 30, but this isn't over yet. Anything can happen. Julie, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you wager? I missed 30. 30 crime bucks? <laughs> Either way, that's okay. What'd you say? Um, I chose Milwaukee. Milwaukee's right. Nice job, Julie. <laughs> Takes you up to 120. Lydell, you've been leading this thing for the entire game. How much did you risk? I was 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. If you're right, you go up to 140. What'd you say? Craig, I chose my walkie. Nice. No! Nice. This one! Damn it, Lydell! I thought I was going to win through that one question. Lydell won it for me. Lydell took it from me. <laughs> this show's actually baller. This show owns bones. <laughs> I'm so bad at it, but this is legit fun. So you can sharpen your skills on your next tape. Inside you'll find an atlas. Can I have a commiseration atlas, please? I'm the one who clearly needs an atlas. T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and this world ball. Now, <laughs> okay, a globe bee ball. That's that's dope. I want that. I actually want that. Yeah. Okay, Julie, if you'll get the door, Lydell, if you'll take this hat, take a ride out there. It's time for us to get going. We're on our way. Oh, shoot, they got a final round where they got to try and apprehend him. I didn't know there was more to this show. You have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. And of course, if you catch Carmen San Diego, you get that trip to anywhere in North America. I mean, uh, surely Disneyland's the correct answer to that. Anywhere in North America, Disneyland. Why anywhere other than Disneyland? <laughs> Jackie, so Jackie, thanks a lot for that. Disney okay. World, sorry, it's different. That's how bad I am at geography. I can't even get my theme parks right. Marquette University. Wonderat. Whoa, nice job. You found Wonderat on the very first try. You get a free turn. Remember the Lydell loot warrant crook. Go ahead. The domes. The domes. Oh, this is just an elimination nice game then. Oh, I wish I knew that. I could actually. Have... Now I've lost track where everything is. You're... I'm definitely not winning this. I'll leave this to the kids. We're we're done with our competition anyway. Go, come on to Porto, Portugal, Portugal. Oh right, so you just have to go over and like identify which one's which. Okay, I can't verbally do that, but okay, Estonia. I actually don't remember that where that is. Nope. Okay, there we are. Belgium, know where that is. Yep. Finland's the tall one. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's not the tall one. Sorry, Finland. Actually, it is fairly tall. God, this is such a cool game. If we had, like, a geography game like this at school, I would absolutely be down with learning my countries. Geography needs to be more like this. <laughs> Gamify it. Gamify that geography. Ah, she got away. Julie, you wore me out. 7 and 45 seconds. That was fantastic. How do you feel? I am tired too. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'm absolutely cream cracking after that. I've authorized the purchase of a special award for you. This portable CD player and this library of music from around the world. And this CD by Rockapella featuring <laughs> our own music album. <laughs> nice. What a prize. Just to clarify, Rockapella is like the people who do the music for this show. And a lot of the band's members are straight up hosts in this show. I mean, listen to them, they're amazing. I can't I can't argue, that'd be a pretty solid prize. One more thing I want you to do, you know what it is? Do it! Oh yeah! Now we just get a full on rendition of what might be the best theme song ever. Okay, you know what? I'm not actually satisfied yet. I feel like we could do with more of this, so uh... Best two out of three, I guess. Let's do two more episodes of this, and uh, we'll see if you can beat me two out of the three times. Or maybe all three times. We'll see. Happy, happy Troy Troy. That is a Ren and Stimpy reference. Nice. The Trojan horse is gone. Because today, Nimoy tweaked the time-space continuum, and time warped into ancient Troy. 
She said hi to the horse, gave him the eye, then used her Roddenberryan resources to zap him out of there. Gumshoes, you've got to solve. <laughs> happy, happy Troy, Troy, or <laughs> they're smarter in Sparta. We couldn't decide on one title, so we've gone with two. Also, if I have, like, any knowledge of time travel, you've retroactively saved all the people of Troy. There's no more Greece anymore, it's just the country of Troy now. I don't know why Nimoy's in the biggest city in Ethiopia. You can't miss the joint. Just south of Intoto Terara Mountain, you got the Mercado, a huge marketplace. All right, largest city in Ethiopia. This is a good damn start for me. Um... Djibouti, Addis Ababa, or Nairobi. Remember the clues that we heard? South of Intoto. Uh, I'm gonna go for... Nairobi? With you, what do you say? I said Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. What do you think, Robin? I said Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa, Poe? Addis Ababa. Oh, god damn it. Just the worst possible start for me. It says, made in Islamabad. Oh, that's the capital of the country where the people make this beautiful pottery. Now, Greg, you put that in a safe place. I'd hate to see that broken. Okay, I will, Chief. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it? Oh, God, this one's stumped me again. Um, I'm going to say Iran. Why are you asking questions about Greece? Why can't the questions be about the themed country of the episode? I mean, it makes sense. They wouldn't stay in the country they've stolen from, but still. Oh, it's Pakistan! Oh, God, I'm so ignorant. I'm no better than Pepper Pac-Man. God damn it. I am absolutely eating shit right now. Oh, wait a minute, of course I know this. Uh, Nimoy must be in a two-mile-high Bolivian city located in a canyon uh, on the Ant Altiplano Plateau. Because of the thin air, you need to cook a three-minute egg for at least six uh, minutes. Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Is it Bogota, La Paz, or Asuncion? I've not heard of any of these. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to assume... Asuncion, because it sounds like Ascension. Okay, everybody's ready. Richard, what do you say? I said La Paz. La Paz, Robin. I said La Paz. La Paz, Poe. La Paz. Everybody said the same thing. Why do you all know the answers to these things? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm scrubbing it so badly! These kids are geographical geniuses! What is going on? <laughs> which means all of these questions had to do with Le Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is La Paz. We give you five crime bucks every time you answer a question correctly. So hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Because of the high altitude and thin air, what do major hotels in La Paz provide to their guests? Is it weighted slippers, parachutes, or bottles of oxygen? Bottles of uh, oxygen. Richard bottles of oxygen? Is right. Nice yes. job. Yes, okay, five cool. Thanks up to 85. Question two. Almost a million people live in La Paz, but there's so little oxygen, the city needs only one of these. Is it a hospital, a post office, or a fire station? Fire Richard. station. Fire station? Right, nice job. Fire this station. place sounds awful. No offense to anyone who lives there, but fuck. There's not much of it, so they don't have very many fires. Last question. What's the difference between people who live in La Paz most of their lives and most other people? Do they have bigger feet, bigger teeth, Bigger lungs. bigger lungs. Richard. Bigger lungs. Nice job, Richard. This place sounds... God, I feel bad for anyone who lives in that country. It sounds so inhospitable for human life. Carmen, this horse keeps saying tipso, tipso. That's Greek. It means he's thirsty. I thought he was mythical. He's mythical, Greek, and thirsty. Water him at Lake Ilopango in the smallest country in Central America. The lake used to be an active volcano. Now it's a crater full of water. If Acme shows up, head south to the Pacific and keep that horse hidden. Remember, he's stolen. Honduras, Belize, or El Salvador? Remember the clues that we heard. Oh, Belize and El Salvador are both very small, but El Salvador looks just a tiny bit smaller? Richard, what do you say? I said El Salvador. El Salvador, Robin. El Salvador. El Salvador, Poe. El Salvador. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> These kids are perfecting this quiz so far. Aside from the lightning round, where only one of them could have gotten all the answers right, they've gotten every answer right. What is this? Has someone tipped them off? Ladies and gentlemen, she whisked that horse right to the state where Harry Truman grew. Independence was 
his home child. She's got a beautiful singing voice, but I have no earthly clue where, where she's referring to. Okay, Gumshoes, name the state, if you will, please. Is it Missouri, Kansas, or Alabama? Remember the clues that we heard? Where President Harry Truman grew up, City of Independence, and Mississippi River. Everybody's ready again. Richard. Okay, Missouri sounds the most like Mississippi, so I'm going to assume it's Missouri. 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 The answer we're looking for is Missouri. Nice job. How the hell did I get that right? <laughs> Wow. Okay, I'll chalk that one up to luck. I'm still getting destroyed by these three. All of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Nimoy slid say Poe. Oh, come on, kid. From Cincinnati, she hauled the horse to Illinois. What's Stop. Richard is right. Next, Nimoy saddled up and entered the Kentucky. Poe. Louisville. Louisville is right. Then she sneaked the horse to Kentucky. Poe. West Virginia. Yes. Nimoy trotted on to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. What state? Richard. Pennsylvania. Nice job, you guys. That's right. Quick. It's too good at this. Stop. Richard has 115. I'm already dead. Give a big round of applause. Oh God! I'm getting destroyed okay, by these three the genius children. Hey Jeff Foxworthy, I've got the answer to your question. It's no, I am not smarter than these children. Risk zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, or fifty Acme crime bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Fifty. Same as I did before. I'm just gonna bank in fully with my fifty in the hopes that I can at least elevate my score somewhat to be slightly more redeeming than it currently is. These kids are catching Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego doesn't stand a chance against these three. There's no way. Nimoy is on the second largest island of an island group east of Puerto Rico. The group used to be called the Danish West Indies. But in 1917, the USA bought the islands from Denmark. Mild, warm trade winds blow there almost all the time. Now blow onto that island and kneel that alien. Martinique, Barbados, or St. Thomas. Remember the clues that we heard. Second largest of group of islands east of Puerto Rico. If Puerto Rico is that island up there on the top left, I'm going to assume it's St. Thomas then. I'm putting 50 on St. Thomas. Let's go, 50 on St. Thomas. You have 100 crime bucks. We're going to start with you. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, Robin? I said St. Thomas. St. Thomas is right yes nice oh job. my god oh i got my 50 i was at least redeemed with my 50. Oh, you have 115 crime bucks. how much did you oh he's goddamn kids what'd you say po st thomas <laughs> they all got it right as well why didn't you just put 50 down and just rub it in you have 115 how much did you risk I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. They were just going easy on me. That's the only reason. Nice they all knew it was St. Thomas. They were just going easy on me. Oh, Richard, you could have just bet higher and you'd have, you'd have won that. Hurry. Come on back. Come on, come on. Cardiff, Wales. 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 It's next to England. Next to England. What are you doing? No. British Isles. British Isles. Up left. No. Oh. The only one I knew, I could have, I could have helped you catch Carmen on that one. I guess it's now time for one more round. If you're somehow still going toe to toe with me, this is where we uh, determine the winner. For those of you who understandably have already beaten me, let's see if you can whitewash me. And if you've somehow lost to me twice, how the hell did you do that? Don't lose again, or you'll, I don't know, fucking see me after class. Wow, okay. <laughs> episode 4. Season 1, episode 4. I was going to say, what are the odds? But I know what the odds are. They're 1 in 295. So, let's do this. The Big Ness Mess. This time they hit Scotland. They oh my god, they're stealing the Loch Ness Monster, aren't they? <laughs> Is this actually happening? Earth of Brute. The fatal fin stomped up to the lake, drained it, and carried the innocent monster away as the lads and lassies of the land. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! Here's Earth <laughs> She's built like a brick shit house. Damn. I want to be strong, 
Like bitch that fight bears in the forest. Oh yeah, a, a woman of that build and stature, able to apprehend a legendary cryptid monster, is really gonna, really gonna feel the burn from these three boys, these three young boys. Oh yeah, they're really gonna put it to task. Score at the end of this round. Now they turned up a guidebook to the 1992 Winter Olympics in Albertville and a set of blueprints for the new tunnel under the English Channel. Oh, We've France. Okay. No, oh, it's either France or England. I've been in that tunnel. It's really cool. I've been in a train in that tunnel. Okay, the answer to this one's France. I just realised I shouldn't really just be giving away answers if I know them, because you could just take the answers off of me. Um, fuck, I've just <laughs> ruined- I've just exposed the flaws within my own, uh, format here, but... You know what? I might be wrong. And I might- I may also be, uh, misguiding you on purpose. I should probably try doing that more. Tetsuo, ready for you? Tetsuo's ready? Josh, what do you think? Okay. Nick, we'll start with you. What do you say? Germany. Germany. What do you think, Josh? Spain. Spain. Tetsuo? Germany. Oh my god, I beat all three of the kids at one of the questions! Finally! That single-handedly makes up for all of the last episode. I don't care what any of you say. You like baseball? Whoa, jeez, that was dangerously close to his balls. <laughs> I would have, I would have knocked him out of commission for the rest of the quiz. There was a note inside that last one there. That was a dangerous stun right there. <laughs> it says from Yeti, the abominable snowman. He saw his pal Nessie near his own mythical home in an Asian country that borders China, somewhere in the Himalayas between Kathmandu and Mount Everest. Okay, oh, so I know this. I should know this. Um, is it? Or does China? Nepal or Myanmar? Nepal. Nepal. It's Nepal. I actually know this one. Yay! I got one. Josh? Nepal. Nepal. Tetsuo? Nepal. Nepal. The answer we're looking for is Nepal. Nice. Yeah! All right. This time I'm crushing it. I'm actually doing all right on this one. Now, Eartha and Nessie stopped for Chikula in a country on the east coast of Africa. They each drank a big cup of a favorite local drink. Warm milk mixed with cow's blood. It's a favorite of the Maasai people. It's supposed to be very nutritious. Somalia, Mozambique, Tanzania. Remember the clues that we heard? Swahili. Mozambique. I'm going for Mozambique. I'm guessing Mozambique. Maasai, Mozambique, maybe. Looking for Earth of Brute. Josh is ready. Tetsuo is ready and Nick's ready. Nick, what'd you say? Come on. Mozambique. Mozambique. Josh? Somalia. Somalia. Oh. Tetsuo? Somalia. Somalia. The answer was uh. actually Tanzania. Oh! Oh, we were all wrong. Okay, well, there goes my streak. Damn it all. I'm still winning. That's the main thing. I'm still crushing it with 70. Beating these kids, maybe beating you. I don't know. This little pest infests most of Tanzania's mainland, inhibiting the production of livestock. Is it a fruit fly, gypsy moth, or tsetse fly? Fruit fly? No. It's not a fruit fly. Okay. Question two. The highest point in Tanzania is also the highest point in Africa. It, Josh. Kilimanjaro. Exactly. Yeah, I just, just before Josh did. I'm taking those five points. I'm having that. Number three, Kit Mbua is a popular food in Tanzania and through much of East Africa. Is Kit Mbua fried chicken, fried goat, or fried, fried bread? Fried goat. Josh. Fried goat. Sorry, it's not fried goat. Oh, damn Nick it. or Tetsuo? Fried chicken. Have to buzz in, Tetsuo. Tetsuo. Fried chicken. Sorry, it's not fried chicken. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Tetsurai. Fried bread is right. And Nick gets it by default. That's so mean. That was, oh, man, Tetsurai. <laughs> he got done so dirty there. I'll tell you what, though. I could absolutely do for some fried goat. That sounds delicious. I'm hauling around a five-ton sea monster, and you expect fast. Calm yourself, Eartha. I have it all planned. Head for a landlocked country in South America. A henchman will meet you on its border with Peru. You can hide Nessie from Acme in one of the world's highest lakes. It's called Titicaca. Titty what? Lake Titicaca. It's really? Emphasis on the titty. Why not? Okay, I... Where is Lake Titicaca? Is it Paraguay, Bolivia, or Ecuador? Remember the clues that we heard? Landlocked, borders Peru, and Titicaca. I'm gonna... Ready, Josh is ready, Tetsuo, I'm gonna say Bolivia. We'll I really hope it's Bolivia. Ecuador. Come on. Ecuador. Josh? Bolivia. Bolivia. Tetsuo? Bolivia. Bolivia. The answer we're looking for is Bolivia. Nice job. Yeah! Alright! I'm taking them points. I'm taking that.
Okay, that Hell yes. You have 55, Josh, you have 80, Tetsuo, you have 70. Now, for our next clue, it's The time. next clue. <laughs> oh, just getting an interjection from our Lord and Savior, God himself. Problems. Nessie's been stashed in the state known for 10,000 lakes. <laughs> Michigan, Wisconsin, or Minnesota? Remember the clues that we heard? 10,000 lakes. State's name is an Indian word that means sky-colored water and the vermilion. Minnesota? Maybe? I don't know. Minnesota. Indian word. Minnesota. Oh, they mean like Native American. Minnesota. I was so confused. I thought they meant like India. Indian. I, I can't stand it when Americans do that. It's so confusing. It's like Native Americans named it that. Right. Okay. Would you shut up and get on with it? Earth has gone to an island off Florida's west coast. It's a beautiful spot just southwest of Fort Myers. Okay, guys, name the Florida island. Is it Sanibel, Cedar Key, or Key West? Remember the clues okay, I'm going to go ahead and guess Florida. Because what? I, I've never heard of any of these. I'll just go with one of the keys, Cedar Key. Key West? Key West. Tetsuo? Sanibel. Sanibel. The answer we're looking for is Sanibel. Nice job, Tetsuo. Well, shit. <laughs> okay. I had a streak okay, going, and I think it's safe to say my streak is over. Tetsuo, you also have 90, but now if you know a lot about this... 50. Problem, we'll 50. Restore, going all in. Wagering that about, shit you know, all the way. Quite so much. So, take a look at the map That's how I do. That's how we do here. <laughs> Sleepless in Walla Walla. My favorite film. They're in Washington on Puget Sound. In a city near the San Juan Islands. Spokane, Washington, Seattle, Washington, or Walla Walla, Washington. Based on the fact that a clown was just speaking to us, it'll be the one that's by the sea. So I'm going to go Seattle on this one. 50 on Seattle, let's go. Crime bucks, we're going to start with you. How much did you risk? 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. Well, no one ever goes in hard with their bet. Apparently you can, go up, you can go up to 50, so... Confidence in your answers. And it all ends with Tatsuo. Come on, Tatsuo. It's all on you, mate. Go on. Go on, Tatsuo. Oh, look at that. Bang on Egypt. It was right next to you. Madagascar. Come on. Can you get that Madagascar? He got Madagascar. Oh, shit. Tatsuo, you were the chosen one. You actually got a legend. Absolute legends. If I can meet anyone who was on this show, I want to meet Tatsuo as he is nowadays and shake his hand. Top secret information here. Absolute pro. Where you and a parent are going. You guys are going to... Arizona! Okay, so with that, that brings us to the end of the show. So, here are my final scores. I obviously don't know if I've beaten you or not, so... You know, give me a like if you've won, give me a dislike if you've lost, same as before. And, uh, yeah, this was so much fun, goddamn. I may sit down and just recreationally watch episodes of this show, it's that good. So, this has been a slight deviation from the norm, but a welcome one, I'd like to think. So, thanks very much for watching, and next week, we will be watching the aforementioned Hedgehog. Before I go stare at a globe and think about my life decisions, I'm going to give a thank you to Dan Brown, PokePal, Quasistella, Channel Drac, Shameboy, and Thomas Walker. Thank you for your patronage and for keeping this show alive.